So this morning started off like all of our mornings usually start. I started it by doing my morning 15 minute workout which consists of pull-ups, squats, push-ups, and sit-ups. <laughs> This guy doesn't make that very easy for me. For some reason, he just loves the taste of my nose and mouth, which means I probably have a good taste. Well, he also loves the taste of bunny poo and geese shit. And during that workout, I burned 116 calories. The next thing I do is I take my dog Hercules for a one hour long walk. It was a beautiful sunny day, just a glorious time to stroll down the street. Herc is definitely not participating in this challenge considering he consumed almost his entire body weight in the poo of different animals. <laughs> A one hour long walk burns anywhere from 210 calories to 360, so we're going to meet it right in the middle at 285. Which means so far today I have accumulated 401 calorie points to spend because in this video I am only allowed to eat the number of calories I have already burned. I'm going to go pick up my breakfast. And the good thing about today's challenge is that um, black iced coffee has zero calories, so I got four because um, if there's any challenge where I can willingly have coffee, I'm gonna have I'm gonna have coffee. <laughs> I have never seen something more glorious in one of my videos. There's four iced coffees, and when you guys see, if I take a sip of this, it's not gonna affect my calorie points at all. But as much as a coffee addict that I am, I can't just live off of coffee. I also got a breakfast sandwich here, which is if they got it correct which I'm hoping they did because it, the last video you guys saw was a disaster. They get the puppuccino, but they don't get the chocolate chip. This is not, this is like chocolate chip to you. No, it does not to me. We have here the, yes, they got it correct. The Beyond Meat Sausage Breakfast Sandwich, which is 390 calories, like almost perfect to what I have burned so far today. This is our breakfast today. And I'm the kind of guy who likes ketchup with my egg. So I'm gonna top off the sandwich with this right here and then we're gonna in there's 20 there's 20 calories in one of these so if i want to have ketchup on my sandwich i have to burn nine nine more calories i mean i could probably just wipe it off with the nap is it really worth the effort one minute of jumping jacks burns 11 calories we are good and i have i have two calories to spare even if you guys have seen one of my videos you know not no food is complete without sauce whether it be french fries chicken nuggets you know cereal milk milk is the sauce in that in that case this is a really good breakfast sandwich but it's not gonna fill me up and i am extremely worried for two reasons one because on a day like today when I work out, I only have one more workout plan that isn't gonna burn enough calories for me to even get the half of a dinner meal. And two, because right in my peripheral vision right there is there's a Burger King and there's a sign for burgers and chicken and it is making me sad. I am so hungry for that food already. Like ideally, I would be having all of that for my lunch. Put how much calories that is right there and what I would have to do to burn it. Can I do jumping jacks? How long would I have to do jumping jacks to eat that stuff? But this is gonna be an exciting video. I'm gonna finish off my breakfast and we'll go from there. Mm. Yeah, well one of the first iced coffee didn't even make it home with me, but we are back in the apartment. Herc is begging to get up on my lap. He loves seeing you guys in videos. I think he must know that you guys comment all the time saying this video better. I literally get Instagram DMs. I'll see, this is no joke. I'll be randomly deciding to scroll through my Instagram DMs and I'll see someone's profile picture that looks, you know, attractive and I'll be curious so I'll open up the message maybe they're saying they love the videos maybe they're saying they think I'm attractive as well and nine times out of ten it's them saying uh put more Herc in your videos please that's it they're they don't even throw an emoji in there. Something I haven't had in a long time since quarantine is Chipotle. And I believe that the Chipotle that is the closest to my house, it is very far. If I want to even get delivery from that Chipotle, I have to lie about my address and sit outside someone else's house. But I thought I'd hop over to the site and see the calorie count. So we're going to build our burrito and see how many calories we would need to burn to get Chipotle today. Um, the sofritas is what I usually get. That is 150 calories. White rice, brown, they're both the same amount of calories. So I'm gonna go with the white rice. Um, black beans, pinto, oh, I, would, oh, I would think that the pinto beans had more calories, but we're gonna go pinto beans. And we have all the, okay, gotta add guacamole. Two, 230 calories for guac? This might be the first time I'm not, 
That was the CEO of Chipotle saying I better get- I think this is the first time when they ask guac is extra, I'm gonna say, yeah, yeah it is extra. Extra damn calories that I have to burn. 230 calories, that's like almost the amount of an hour long walk. We're not, no, no guac today. We'll do, that's only 25 calories. You gotta add the corn. We'll add the green salsa as well, only 15 calories. Sour, okay. I can opt out for some guac, but sa you need a sour cream. We're adding that. Oh, jeez. <laughs> Okay, do we add, we're doing it, we're adding cheese in, we have to. Lettuce, of course, and I think that's everything. Oh my gosh, oh my god, large shit. Do you see that? Holy crap, that is so many calories. You're telling me I saw that many calories and I didn't say holy guacamole? Come on, Derek, what this quarantine is getting to you. You're telling me I interrupted a video and I didn't ask for likes? Come on, editor Derek number one. Guys, be sure to kick that like button down below right now if you can with uh, do it with your nose. If you do it with your nose, um, you'll get a thing. Just kidding. Okay. Let's go. Okay. Okay. I'm... What the f am I even saying? Wait, where's our calories at? Drinks. We I have enough coffee to last me a lifetime in the fridge. Enter meal name. Um... Cause that's definitely what's gonna happen after I put that into my stomach. <laughs> I got to the place where you see the full amount of calories. Something that they didn't show on the other section was the fact that the tortilla itself is 320 calories. Just the flour, to, but like I would get a burrito bowl, but come on, like what, who am I? Going to the lane to knock down 12 pins. No, I'm not bowling today, we're tortillaing today. That should be a sport. If we do want to get this burrito, I'm gonna need to burn 1,155 calories today. And that isn't even bringing up the fact that we still have to eat lunch. Something that I did find out though, I, rem I, like, I was thinking about it, and you do burn calories throughout the day just doing what you normally would do. When I googled how many calories do you burn in a day doing no exercise, there was actually an article that came up saying you burn like 350 calories throughout the day. So that gives us 350 calorie points towards food we can eat. So like realistically speaking, I could go into my pantry and I could have, let's see how many of these cookies I could have. There are 170 for two of them, so I could, I could eat four of these cookies technically. Um, I kind of already, kind of already had two of them. If I'm gonna be 100% honest with you guys. And I wish that this was just some, you can tell I had two. Just look at the um, amount of chins I have. Two, the same number of cookies I've already eaten. So that's 170 calories off that I, and I'm gonna have two more. I'm sorry, these things are just so good. I know I say this a lot to you guys, and I don't think a lot of you understand how bad it is when I say I have zero self-control when it comes to, like, look at her. This is how he looks at me. Every single time I wake up at three o'clock in the morning to get cookies, he's like, Dad, why do you do this to yourself? You just, you're gonna slowly kill yourself if you eat all these cookies and I'm gonna be all alone and there's gonna be no one here to take care of me and feed me. What am I supposed to do? If there are cookies in my house, I have zero self-control and those of you guys who have had these cookies, you know there is something about these cookies specifically that you just can't stop eating them. So after that, we are left with 12. We have 12 calorie points and we need how many to get a damn Chipotle burrito? Like 17,000? If I'm gonna be doing that much physical activity today, I need to get something else in me. If there's one thing I remember from being a kid about calories is that, I don't even know if this is true. I searched it up, I found some articles saying it's kinda true, kinda not. We're gonna go with it that it's fact because if you read it somewhere online, you know, you know what? Ever hear something from someone when you're a kid and you've just always believed it and then the, the moment that someone tells you that it's wrong when you're older, it's just the most offensive thing and your heart it just doesn't want to break so you just hold on to that truth even though it's really might not be 100% accurate. That's what we're doing today. And if there's one thing I remember about being a kid and calories, it's that there is something you can eat that doesn't take any calories it's negative, celery is apparently negative calories. Celery has so few calories that the process of you eating, chewing, and digesting burns more calories than you eat consuming the celery itself. So this is going to be our lunch. Before I do something I'm gonna regret, I am going to take these, or should I give them to some, don't, or in the garbage? I should lock them in a safe. Do I have a safe? It is Wednesday, and so it's hump day, and that's the day that I always see my mom. The, the fact that it's hump day, 
It doesn't not be you're so disgusting. It's really hard for my mom during this quarantine because she really really needs to see Herc on a weekly basis. Yeah, you thought I was gonna say me, no. My mom texts me all the time saying, how's Herc, how's the dog, how's my grandpuppy? Never says, how's Derek or how's my son? Because who who cares how I'm doing? But I can tell you right now, mom, I'm uh, not doing too great. I'm gonna go walk Herc with my mom. That'll definitely burn some calories. And then after that, we're gonna have to start doing something else if we wanna get that Chipotle burrito for dinner. Okay, so the walk with my mom is complete. It was a nice leisurely stroll. I tried to make my mom go for an hour, but her and Herc weren't agreeing with me, so we only went for 30 minutes, which isn't ideal if I'm trying to get that Chipotle burrito. I am now onto my third iced coffee, trying to get hydrated because I'm about to go for a run with a certain somebody who, if you guys uh, will take a look here, I'm gonna turn down the lighting so you guys can see that somebody no longer has a pink beard. Well, would you look who it is? You got burned? Burned by what? Burnt, you burned our trust, that's what you burned. Because you were supposed to keep your beard for eight days. What? I was burned. What's that, ax? That's called dry, that's called dry skin, no, Jazz Ball. got burned. You get some cream and you're good. You know what's gonna get burned? Your video off of YouTube, because I'm copyright striking your video, okay? Yes, you know why? Why? You know why? Why? Because I tweaked it a little bit so it's not actually you in the thumbnail. I actually didn't watch the video, so I don't know if you're lying or telling this. Me and Jaspal are about to do a socially distanced run together. I need to burn some calories. I want to get. Why is my back windshield wiper on? Is the real question. Nothing left to do but an epic dare, Paul. What? Look at these guys. Just have no respect for you. They're cleaning up the school and doing community service while you should be filming your video. Can you just? Okay, yeah, we're gonna stop that. There's nothing left to do but a dare, Paul, epic montage of epicness. Let's get this run done. Let's burn those calories. Working out on right now, but you just keep messing everything up. I don't know what's your problem. Here. What the hell's wrong? <laughs> Five minute run. We did it. That was Paul was talking a lot of trash at the beginning. Decided to have a couple Krispy Kremes before we started. While we were running, he was also talking about ask, telling me he was only 50 calories. And I'm like, why are you telling me that? And he said, because I could just eat him and not have to really worry. Calculate how many calories we have and how much closer we are to that Chipotle. Back from the run, I, sm I smell. I'm not gonna describe what I smell like because I don't want to get demonetized in this video. I'm just about to take a shower, get all cleaned up. But before I do that, I just want to calculate how many calorie points we have and how close we are to our Chipotle burrito. So after lunch, we were left with 12 calorie points and I went for a 40 minute run with Jazz Paul, which said can burn anywhere from 345 calories to 400. So we're just gonna go, we're just gonna go with 345. The hour long walk was 280 calories so for 30 minutes we're gonna go half of that so we're gonna go 142 which what no 12 plus 345 plus 142 we're only at 499 so I have to burn another 656 I have to do basically double the walk and the run? Maybe we'll just get it in a bowl. No, I can't get it in a bowl. I, I'm not I'm not gonna stoop down to the level of a burrito bowl. I want the burrito, I want the, I don't want the guac. Okay, we're definitely not getting guac now. And the thing is about this challenge is that it's not like just, you know, a challenge where I don't get to eat food. One, I'm not eating food. And two, I'm working out, which makes me need to eat food. I mean, there's no point in me showering now if I'm gonna have to do exercises and burn 600 something. Herc, what do you think? Do you think I can do it? But I always, I always like looking to you for support. Do you, okay, literally ignoring me. He doesn't think I can, oh, Herc, what do you think, bud? I'm just worried how I'm gonna feel after, like, you know, no, I can, I, I can do it. Like, this is a challenge that I have been doing since the morning. I've been sticking with it. I've been in quarantine. I've been working out. We can burn. How many was it? How many calories do we have to burn? 600 fit. Holy fuck. You know what? I know a place. I can, I can go rock climbing. We are gonna climb that rock. We are gonna burn some calories. After that, 
you know, we're gonna squat and jump onto the, uh, something that will burn some calories. We're gonna run up and down some stairs. That I know that burns a ton of calories. And after that, we will have burned enough. We're gonna be feeling awesome. My legs feel like noodles, not even like, not even like al dente noodles. These are like when you make like instant noodles and you put them in the water for too long and they just break apart and you're, that's, that's what my legs look like right now. So we're going to calculate now. I just got out of the shower by the way and it was, I've been taking cold showers lately. So those are fun. Three, two, one. We had 499 plus 10 minutes of climbing, which is 146 calories, 10 minutes of squat jumps, which is 84 calories, and then 10 minutes of stair climbing, which is 199 calories, which brings us to only 928 calories. We're still almost two, we're 200 off. Okay, let me, maybe we can take something off of our burrito. Let's see here. Okay, we're leaving the tortilla. We're not bowling today, okay? I'm not getting a strike. We have to leave the vegetarian meat option. That's too good. We, you, right, you can't have a burrito without rice and beans. So what can we take off here? The cheese or the sour cream. <laughs> Two of the best things. I don't think a burrito, you can't have a burrito with no guac and no sour cream. We're, we're gonna have to take off the cheese, which how many calories? 10, 1,045. We need to do 117 more calories to get our burrito. Oh, there's no way I can go somewhere right now. I can't climb more. I want to do something. At, I have a jump rope, but, how, but that's one of the hardest forms of cardio. How much does 10 minutes of the jump rope do? So 10 minutes of jump rope is 133 calories, which is like just, just enough. Oh God. Okay, we're gonna do 10 minutes of jump rope to end and get to get our burrito. And Herc are extremely ex I don't know why he's excited. He doesn't get any of it. We have gotten, we did the 10 minutes of jumping rope. And after we minus the burrito statistics, we still have 16 calories to spare. And we get to have our Chipotle burrito. And here she is, or he, or whatever it wants. This can identify as whatever, as long as it doesn't identify as a bowl, because we do not get bowling. We're not bowling for a spare. Oh my gosh, you, oh, the lettuce. How much calories is this? I don't care because I've earned it. Oh, how many calories is this? I don't care because I've earned it, right, Herc? Ah! Usually I'd wait and like savor that. No, we're not, we're not waiting for anything. Oh my god, look how beautiful. Look at all the different colors. It may not have the color of cheese, but it has a lot of delicious things that I I need so desperately right now. Opted out for guac and cheese, which some people may argue are the two best things about a burrito. And I'm gonna say right now, you can definitely tell that they're not there, but it's still, it might just be the fact that I've just done 17 different exercises. And I haven't eaten anything since the, that, the cell, I had a stick of celery. For, for lunch. But nonetheless, it's still it still tastes extremely good. I hope sometimes when you guys watch these videos that you're kind of like eating along with me. I don't know, it's just nice to, especially during quarantine, it's nice to think that you guys are, you're watching this and we're enjoying a meal together. But Mark Weens mentioned it in one of his videos and I think it's a very beautiful thing. And if you guys are doing it, tag me on Instagram at Derek underscore Gerard in your Instagram story. I'm gonna be reposting all of you guys who are eating a meal along with me. So it looks like, I have never eaten a burrito this quickly, but it looks like we're halfway done so if my calculations are correct, we have 16 calorie points left and before, don't freak out. But what we have here is this is my favorite thing that Chipotle s sells. I don't know if it's a Canadian thing. They sell these San Pellegrino carbonated fruit beverages and this is 130 calories. But we're halfway through the burrito so I thought I would get one and we would drink like just maybe like one sip, like one tenth of the can and we'll still have a, like a couple calories left over, so let's do that right now. We cannot drink the whole thing, I just get one little sip, so I better savor it. Oh. Mm, oh, that's so good! Now I get to eat the rest of this. Oh my gosh, what a great... This, this 
feels so good. For this, not gonna lie, I felt like chopping my legs off, but right now with this food in me, the pain in my legs is complete. I've forgotten about it, and I'm just I'm just enjoying this delicious burrito. And I mean, it's not like I went to Chipotle in this video specifically because there's a YouTuber who's giving away a, like a free Chipotle card where you can get free Chipotle all the time. I would never ever do that. I would never even want that. So if that YouTuber is watching, just know I don't even want that because I don't need it. Fucking give it to me, David, please. I'm going to finish off my delicious burrito that we worked so hard for, and all we have left is dessert. And I I think I kind of know, already know what I'm gonna do for dessert. So here we are at the end of the video. Uh, what I have for my dessert is a classic hot fudge sundae from McDonald's. You guys may be thinking, well, Derek can't just eat the sundae. He has to work off the calories. And a hot fudge sundae from McDonald's has 186 calories in it. How can he, he has like, I, what do I have? Something I've been doing every single day now is meditating. And after I purchased the coffees from Starbucks, I actually meditated for a bit outside next to the water. It was, it was a nice time, except for the people walking by who probably thought I was on drugs or something. And I searched it up and um, sitting actually burns 60 to 130 calories an hour. I meditated for 30 minutes, so even at the lowest possibility, I burned 30 calories. And that is one bite of this glorious Sunday. I'm gonna take my one bite of this Sunday, and I just wanna say thank you guys so much for watching this video. Okay, gotta be one bite, we gotta make a count. <coughs> oh my teeth, oh my teeth. <coughs> Is there an, oh, this looks like it should be on a different website. I mean, technically now the challenge is over, so I still have white stuff on my face. So does that, what did I even, how did I even do this? My mouth has magical power. You know what, nope, it has to be 24 hours, so I can't eat this until the camera is turned off and you guys can't see this. I love you guys so much. Hopefully quarantine is going okay for you guys. I know some some uh, provinces like BC where I live is actually lifting some of the restrictions on quarantine. So hopefully some of you guys get to see some of your friends. Just be sure you're staying safe and only seeing people who are healthy. I will see you all in my next video. Have a fantastic day and always remember the motto of do good, die great. All right, see ya, bye.